in Portage, the Crossroads Mall is suing the city, Kalamazoo County, and local transportation authorities for using its roads for the transit system without paying for the service. Tonight, we're hearing from the mall's management about the federal civil lawsuit. News 8's David Horak joins us from our Kalamazoo studio with more on this tonight. David. Well, Brian, earlier this year, the bus system said mall management wanted to charge Metro $50,000 a year to access the mall's property. Crossroads General Manager Marty Sawicki says this could have been avoided, the lawsuit, if talks with the transit operators did install. The defendants in this case say they have not been served the lawsuit and cannot comment yet. We kept trying to meet with uh, the transit authority. We kept asking. The meetings we did have were very... Um, just kind of like, nope, we're not going to do anything. We don't plan on helping with anything. I'm not, I'm good at saying no, is what he said a lot. Since this lone bus stop was installed in the mid 2000s, the lawsuit says that Kalamazoo County Transportation Authority, Central County Transportation Authority, Kalamazoo County, and the city of Portage have used the mall's property without the consent of Crossroads Mall or previous owners and without an easement agreement. They like to say it's a destination place, which is what we want it to be. However, three buses an hour from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, they are not coming here. They are, I mean, there are people, yes, that get off the bus, but the majority are waiting to get on another bus to go somewhere else. The suit claims the bus system intentionally misused governmental authority. Private road or not, the, here is the problem. It's, it's a government entity that is has just taken our property, used it how they want to, and then when we asked for it to be compensated to help improve it, we were told no. Along with lower property taxes and lost revenue, the lawsuit also claims the more than 3,100 buses going through the property every month cause at least $2 million in damages to vehicles, roadways, and what's below the concrete. Specifically drainage damage, like the sinkholes and things that are just from the heavy weight of the buses on the property is where we started to go, whoa, wait a minute, this isn't just your normal paving. This is actual, we're gonna have to tear it up and do new pipes and do whatever underneath because of the weight of the buses that have been on here. So Wiki says they wanna continue having the bus system's third busiest routes, but also want those in charge of it to pay their fair share. Public transportation is such a key part to a sense of place, to people getting around, to my mall being successful. So I certainly don't want them to leave the property. We do have people who get to work on the bus and we, re, you know, we require, we love that, you know, we love that piece, but we can't continue to shoulder all of the burden of that. A Kalamazoo County spokesman and the executive director for both transportation authorities said they cannot comment since they haven't been served the lawsuit yet. Neither can the city of Portage because they're still finding legal representation for this case. We're live in our Kalamazoo studio. David Horak, News 8. Sue.